Hi, I'm Alicia and this is Healthy Humane Living and today we're going to be making a sweet potato apple crisp and it tastes just as good as it sounds. And I got this recipe from my former sister-in-law, Peggy, and it's, it's a family favorite, but I veganized it and this is actually my first time making it, so fingers crossed it will it will all work out so what i've done is i have two very large sweet potatoes and three apples and i sprang for the honey crisp apple so i'm pretty excited about this and to make things a little bit easier because peggy said that it's hard getting the sweet potatoes to be you know cooked all the way through as you get the apples cooked all the way through and because it's really difficult to peel the sweet potatoes i pre-cooked them in the microwave just you know for about five minutes and then put them in a bag to sweat so that it's much easier to peel so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you the nasty peeling process uh, through the magic of uh, of television. I will be back in just a few minutes. So I've peeled the potatoes and I've peeled the apples and I'm going to chop them up in just a second. But because this is for the holidays and I don't want anything to stick to the pan, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil into the pan, just a like maybe a half a teaspoon or so, and spread that around so that nothing sticks okay and the next thing to do is i'm going to chop up the apples first and then i'll chop up the sweet potatoes because i need to put some lime or lemon whichever you choose on the apples it keeps them from turning brown it also has a nice acidic contrast okay so i finished chopping up the sweet potatoes and the apples and it's about 50 50. so the next thing i'm going to do is um, I have some caramel apple dream tea that I got from Celestial Seasonings and I'm just going to pour this over the sweet potatoes and the apples because this will actually help add you know a nice maple flavor to it without adding extra sugar to it and now I'm just going to try to safely and neatly uh, mix the apples and the sweet potatoes up together. So I've finished mixing everything up and it's pretty evenly distributed between the apples and the sweet potatoes. So the next thing to do is just take it. I've preheated the oven to 375. I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes. So the next thing to do is to make the topping. And this is, oh, this is the best part because this is what makes it more dessert-like if you're looking for something a little sweeter, either for dessert or for a side dish. So first thing we're gonna do is I've got a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Ooh, where did my oats go? Oh, quarter cup of oats. Half a cup of walnuts. A half a cup of uh, brown sugar and this is healthy humane living so I want you to know I did go with the fair trade sugar it costs a little bit more but that means that the workers and the farmers are paid fairly so I spent the extra couple of bucks so that this could be a, a humane dish and last but not least three tablespoons of this mixed nut butter that I get at Trader Joe's and this is really <laughs> my last three tablespoons here so I'm just going to put this into the bowl, clean out this stuff. This has a nice buttery taste. Uh, the original recipe called for butter, but you know, I do, I'm oil free in my cooking. And so I do get fat from nuts. And um, this has a wonderful, this has pecans and macadamia nuts in it. So this is going to be a pretty amazing dish. And then it says to mix with together with your fingers but i'm going to try not to do that i just mix it together with a spoon and maybe a fork it's not coming together as easily as i had hoped so i am going to dig my fingers in and make the make the, the topping so i am a one person show uh, i do all the camera work and the editing and the cooking and so I'm not gonna subject you to my hands 
This is what it looks like when it's all put together and we just have to wait for the potatoes and apples to come out of the oven. So the apples and sweet potatoes are out of the oven and I'm just gonna give them a little stir. You can see that they're starting to get brown, just a little caramelized. So the next step is to take the crumble and to sprinkle it on top. So it's out of the oven and it's been cooling for about 15 minutes or so. And I've decided to treat this as more of a more healthy dessert than as a side dish. So I'm just gonna spoon myself up a little bit of this. And I love it because the, the topping is very caramely and um, just really luscious. I'm very excited about it. There's still a lot of steam coming off of this, but look how delicious that looks. Mm. Anyway, I hope you'll give this a try for Thanksgiving or Christmas or just because you deserve something nice. If you like this recipe, please subscribe. My name is Alicia and this is Healthy Humane Living.